Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And tonight our question comes to us from Draco Kwan. And Draco Kwan asks my opinion about something called the Esau Square. And the Esau Square is an old spell that comes out of the ceremonial tradition from the era of the Grimoires. And the Esau Square basically involves the word Esau, E-S-A-U, or some people would render it E-S-A-U-E, -E, written around the edges of a square in such a way that there is an E in each corner. And the idea is that as you write this, you concentrate strongly upon your goal, and it's supposed to bring it to pass. Uh, there are also oogie-boogie elements like writing it in blood and blah, 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 uh, which we don't really need to go into, uh, but they're typical of old grimoire magic. Now, my opinion of this uh, this is the kind of spell work that makes use of uh, the emotions and the relationship with the higher self as opposed to any intellectual element, because the meaning of the word Esau and other similar words that are used in this kind of magic has no particular meaning for the practitioner. It's uh, In some cases, they're nonsense words. In some cases, they're ancient words. Uh, in the case of Esau, it may or may not be the same as the biblical character from that name, uh, but it has nothing to do with the particular uh, goal of the spell. The idea is that it appeals directly to the higher self, and uh, in the sense that these things are keys to unlock the magical powers within you, then yes, they will work. If you believe in it, it will work. So that would be basically my opinion of the Esau square, that if you believe it and you want to do it, then it could very well work for you. If you don't believe it, if it doesn't make sense to you, it's not going to do anything. Now, the Esau Square is one of a larger body of magic that makes use of the symbol of the square. And if we look to geometric magic, we'll see that the square has to do with manifestation and grounding things into the physical world. They also frequently make use of words, uh, which again, do not necessarily have a meaning that is understood by the practitioner, but are believed to have power in and of themselves. Do the words have power in and of themselves? Again, if you believe they do, well then they can. They're keys. And they're meant to again unlock the powers within you. And this is true of a lot of the grimoire magic. From the point of view of modern magic, where we like to use symbols that have meaning to us, that have an intellectual context, they don't always make a lot of sense, but they weren't necessarily meant to work that way. Uh, they were often meant to be ciphers that you put your faith in without thinking. And magic can work very well that way. So, I hope this answers your question, gives you a little food for thought, and until next time, may you blessed be.